What's up traders, this is V Trades, and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Alibaba. This will be an updated video since the last time I looked at this company was on August 21st. Something new for the channel is that I would like to offer a service since I'm getting a lot of chart requests. Please read the description if you are interested in this. I will continue to post regularly, so this is just for people who want a specific chart analysis done. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. Also thank you to those who already subscribed and like my videos, it means a lot. Just a reminder that this video is for entertainment purposes only and does not constitute any financial advice. We will start out the technical analysis by going over what I see in the daily chart and potential price targets. Then we will wrap it up by looking over the long term pattern on the weekly chart. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a vertical line on where I left off for this company which is August 21st which is right around here. And it looks like we had a slight pullback up to the EMA which I expected because the market does not move in a straight line. But I do expect lower lows and I will prove that in the daily chart and the weekly chart. So it looks like Alibaba went inside of a more aggressive channel, which it looks like is this one right around here. I'm going to show you guys right now. This one fits pretty nicely. So it looks like Alibaba is inside of this channel now. Uh, we just got rejected off the uh, midline of it and it looks like we're going to probably touch this lower side of the channel or even break it because the price is getting even more and more faster, accelerating lower and lower. However, uh, we could also see another pull back, back up to the upside of the channel since we just got a bounce from the lower side. We could get another pull, um, pull back right back up to the upper side or even break it just a little bit. But I still expect a lower lows to come uh, because this does not look like a bottom to me yet. So I expect us to continue lower and lower. Um, I also see that we're still inside of this bigger channel right around here. So if I connect these swings and if I just drag it lower, this fits really nicely. So I'm going to change this color. Let's make it yellow. So inside this yellow larger channel, we have uh, multiple channels and including this red one that's aggressively uh, trending lower. So since prices broke through it right around here, we pushed through it and then we came back to test the midline. So that's not a good sign and we got rejected. Prices were uh, too strong to even come back to the EMA. So that's not a good sign. So it looks like what prices eventually want to do is come back to um, the lower side of this larger channel. So that's right around here. So that's pretty much my target for Alibaba. And I've been saying that for quite a long time now, um, especially on the weekly chart. It looks even more appealing that prices would want to reach this area. Um, but I don't know if we're going to get that second leg back up and then continue lower but sooner or later even if we have a break outside of this channel like even all the way up to here I still expect us to retest that low even make a new low so that is my target for Alibaba and let me show you guys some measured moves so it looks like we already met the measured move this was the first leg down right around here and in between it there was a two-legged correction which would be the center of the pattern and that's where I will drag it to and look what happened pretty much Alibaba bounced right to um, the perfect amount that's why we got that uh, bounce up and it was on the other side of the channel. So that's pretty much perfect price action. That's what we expect. But prices got smacked down again. Uh, the uh, sellers are pretty strong in the market. So I wouldn't be trying to catch a falling knife because there's a lot of reasons for the price to continue lower inside of this yellow channel. Everything's pointing down. The EMA is pointing down and making lower lows and lower highs. And in this red channel, it looks like prices got even more steeper. See, in this yellow channel, it's about a 35 degree channel but this one's even like a 50 to 60 degree so it looks like it's falling even faster so i expect us to reach this reach our target within the coming weeks um at least maybe september unless something changes but i do expect us to reach this 130 level so that's pretty much everything i had on the daily chart it looks like prices um just had a little push up because we bounced off the lower side of the channel uh however prices were too strong it looks like we might just touch it again before continuing higher just temporarily but sooner or later i do expect expect us to continue lower um, either it by doing it um, coming all the way up here or even just barely over here but sooner or later I expect this target to be hit and I'm gonna show you guys the weekly chart so here's that weekly chart for Alibaba and I'm gonna show you guys the same channel that I saw on the daily chart this one right around here so this puts pretty nicely I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it just a little bit better so that's the channel I saw on the daily chart so on the weekly chart it looks like uh, price will want to touch this side of um, the channel which it would be uh, the support side and it looks like it's the same um, support side that it price could reach as this horizontal line because it looks like prices were inside of a range these are the range lows and these are the range highs right around here so prices move up and down um, inside the range so prices had a breakout side of it and prices came all the way back to inside of it so it looks like it wants to it wants to touch the lower side of the range now and it's also the same point where the lower side of the channel is so this is where we could get a big bounce especially because a lot of people want to buy at this level 
um, so we could expect that coming but however price is getting far, far further and further away from the EMA so they might need to do this quickly uh, or not we could come back all the way up to this like 204 level before continuing lower but sooner or later I still could still see us continuing lower I don't see any bullish reversal signs yet um, we might we need to see maybe like a triple bottom before continuing higher or you know like a V bottom so I haven't seen that yet but we could get that V bottom if they drop it even faster but we just gotta wait and see um, so that's pretty much my target for um, the daily and weekly chart this 130 level I do see a measured move easier on the weekly chart it looks like this is the first leg down right here and then there was another leg down however it looks like we're in the third leg right now so if the first if we get a third leg down I like to move this first leg down and that could give me the target of the third leg and it looks like it's pretty much right where I circle this so we could reach that $121 level but I still think we're just gonna reach the 130 level uh, first before continuing lower but we just gotta wait and see the 130 level could be that's the bottom of the market uh, we just gotta wait and see so let's just see how much Alibaba has dropped so far in this market this bear market looks like it has dropped 50 percent um, since its highs so it looks like it could continue to fall even lower and if it does continue to fall even lower that's pretty much a 60 percent drop but let's just say someone were to buy at these uh, low levels right around that 130 level if, it, if prices can get there which I think it would uh, let's just see if it goes back up to the high so that's pretty much like you can double your money even a little bit more like 150 percent gain eventually I do believe we'll come back to reach as the high but that could take you know maybe five years or something I'm still pretty bullish in long term I like the company a lot but the technicals right now is a bear market we will continue lower on the daily chart and weekly chart uh, in the coming days and weeks until something changes but that's my pretty much my target for Alibaba and I'm sticking with it this 130 level Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised on what you could learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.